everyone. Um, welcome back to my scrapyard. Uh, my name is Sandy and tonight I wanted to just share with you a little tutorial on how I made these um, book page ribbons. Um, very, very simple. I've uh, posted them before on Facebook, but I thought seeing as I was getting a little braver on doing videos, I would try to do another tutorial. So let's get started. So I take my regular book page I tea stain it. Now this one's already been treated. And what I use is a mixture of uh, glycerin and water. And it's one part glycerin to about uh, nine parts of water. And all I do is take it and spray it on my paper. Actually, maybe what I'll do is pretend this is stained because this one's already mushy enough. So you just work it into your paper, nice and saturated. And I just kind of pat it in there couple of times just so it's nice and kind of uh, wet and then I crunch it up just to try to work that mixture into the fibers because it'll soften it up to be kind of like a fabric uh, feel sorry and if you're not careful it will tear I do that a couple of times and then I dry it, either overnight or if you're impatient like me, in the dryer. <laughs> and then once it's done, you're gonna have something that would look like this and sound like that. It's it's really a, a lovely feel. It's almost a little too oily. Well, it's not really oily, but it's very soft because glycerin works as like um, a, a hand lotion, I guess. I think it's treated for dry and chapped skin and minor burns, so there you go. So after it's dry, what I do is I take a ruler, and I like to just uh, trim off the white ends. Um, so I take my um, water pen. You can also use a paintbrush dipped in water as well. And I find this gives it a nice kind of feathery edge. Oops, that's... <laughs> When the water comes out, that is. All right. Let it sit for a second, and then I just kind of slowly give it a tear. There we go. And then I like to measure out about an inch. I found an inch um, uh, width was really good for this uh, ribbon. I call it a ribbon. I guess it is a ribbon. All right, and although this is probably not new to anyone, I figured it was a good idea for, oops, for using up your, um, your book pages that we have so many left over of. All right, so once you have that, I let it dry. And then I'll take my um, tea stained, oh, there it is, my tea stained quarter inch um, ribbon, and I sew it on to the back of my paper. I flip that down and then I just uh, machine baste it on there so that it gives it some strength so that it won't tear because it is paper. And then what I'll do is I'll take the one end and I'm gonna tie a double knot there just to kind of finish that edge off so my threads don't pull through. And then I'll take this end on the back stitch and I'm going to just gently pull to gather it and I just kind of move it up and it's pretty sturdy with this ribbon on there I've never tried it um, on plain paper I've only ever made it with this glycerin treatment paper because it gives it a nice softness and then once you have the length of the um, ruffle that you would like to have. What I do is I tie that off. Excuse me. I don't think I'm catching a cold, but nose is forever running. I work in a clinic, so we have lots of sick people coming in. Anyway, and I just clip my ends off. You can leave them on if you like, but so there you go. And then I just kind of adjust I adjust it and you can do that up to the point where you glue it on the page um, and then it's pretty solid so I'm sorry I got kind of 
kind of a mess going on here. I'm not a very good clean crafter. So I'll just show you what I was going to do. I have my journal here. And I think you can see that. Yes, you can. And I was going to take my ribbon, which I thought was a pretty nice color, a shade. And I was going to add it to my center signature. Now, of course, I didn't bring my glue over. Otherwise, I'd glue it right in. But I would just put a strip of glue right down there or wherever you want it. See, I don't want it hanging over because, I don't know, I figured just to the edge would probably work okay, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, so I think that would make a really cute addition to a journal. You can put it on your full pages. Uh, you could put it on the edge of your half page here, trim it there. I, I just think it would make a really nice little addition. Um, anyway, I hope you've liked my little tutorial. I will be honest with you, this is probably like my eighth take. <laughs> I should have had this posted yesterday, but for some reason I just couldn't, couldn't do her. And tonight I said, I'm doing it in one shot, and there you go. Anyway, I do want to thank you very much for joining me on my uh, new YouTube channel. I do hope that you will subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up, and we will see you again. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.